Hello, welcome to my channel. We are continuing with the just ended WASI 2023, the core mathematics paper, question number three. So we are having in the first room of a cone, the bottom diameter is three times, that is thrice the top diameter. So if the height of the first room is 12 centimeter, then we are to calculate the height of the whole cone. Then two, given that the volume of the whole cone is 39,600 centimeter cube, we have to find correct to four significant figures, the radius, radius of the cone. Now we know a first room is just also a cone that has been cut into two, as in horizontally. What I mean is that, so you can see this is a cone. Ignoring the middle uh, line here, we can see this is a complete cone. Now, when you cut the cone into two to produce a smaller cone, the bottom is what we are calling what? The first room. So now, the first room plus the smaller cone give rise to the bigger cone. So the question is saying that in the first room of a cone, the bottom diameter, which is this. So we know that this is going to be the center. Let's make a line to get the radius. From here to here will be a diameter. Already we know that radius equals to diameter over 2. Meaning this very area here is going to be the diameter over 2. Then here will also be the center radius. Now if I draw this line. So looking at this, we can see that all the way from the apex down to the bottom is the height of the cone, the original cone. Then from here to this place will give us the height of the smaller cone above. Then still from here to this place will give us the height of the first room. So we are saying that the, the bottom diameter is three times the top diameter, meaning this very area, which is going to be the diameter. If it is one, here will be one times three. But since we don't know the value for the diameter, we cannot associate any value. So we are going to just say that this is going to be the, the radius, which will be diameter over 2. That is the radius of the smaller cone. Because we are saying that this is 3 times the one in the middle. So I'll be having this radius going to be 3 times diameter over 2. Going to be 3 over 2d. So this very radius here is going to be 3d divided by 2. Knowing from here to here, let me label, let's see, vet is so v, and we put a, b, c, d. Okay, I can label it now. So now, a, d is the radius of the smaller cone. b, c is the radius of the, the big, uh, how do you call it, the big cone, which is the same time the radius of the first room. All right. Now, if you look at this triangle, V, A, D, is a triangle from there that we can see in the smaller uh, cone. Then, looking at V, B, C, it also forms a triangle, which are similar triangles. The triangle here is a similar to this because it has been extended to produce this. So this is a smaller one, this is a large one, so they are similar. So we can find the ratio of their size to be the same. So what I mean is that if I know what is here divided by here, it should be the same as what? Here divided by here. So that I can get the, the scale factor that is used to enlarge. The, the bigger or the smaller one to give us the bigger one. Now that we know that if the height of the first room is 12, we know the height of the first room. A, B is giving us 12 centimeter from A to B is given to us. Meaning it is half of the height of the whole cone or the original cone. So it means if I know whatever is here, labeling it H, as the height of the smaller cone. So the height of the smaller cone plus that of the 12 give us the height of the main uh, cone. 
Meaning from here, if I move all the way to this place, it's going to be H plus 12. H, which is from here to there, from here to here is 12. So the height of the whole cone or the bigger cone, original cone, will give us H plus 12. So now let's find the ratio of their size, since they are similar. I can see that if I take this and this, it should be the same as taking the whole of this and this. So the whole of this is going to be h plus 12, which is taking this perpendicular height divided by the horizontal height, which will be 3d over 2. It should be the same as taking the vertical height, which is h divided by the horizontal length, which will be d over 2. We are trying to see if we can get a scale factor, the factor that is able to use to enlarge the smaller triangle to become the bigger one here. So in this case, we are having double division. If you have A divided by B over C, we maintain the A, we change this to multiplication, reciprocate C over D. Simply put, the 2 will go up to multiply the numerator here. This 2 also goes to multiply. So at the end, I will leave with the 2 going up to multiply H plus 12 divided by 3D. These two going up to give us 2H over D. So I'm still having the H D, the H D. We can see that these are all under as a denominator. So if I multiply this side and this side by D, it will cancel the D out. So I will just multiply here by D, here by D. So the D will cancel, leaving 2H plus 12 divided by 3 equals to 2H divided by 1. And we know that 1 will not have effect. So what will I do? Let me put it there. I cannot do cross multiplication. Why by 3 will multiply this? The whole of this multiply 1. So I'll be having 2H plus 24, if I open this bracket, times 1, it remains the same, equals to 3 times 2H, that will give us 6H. So I think I have H and H being common, so I can group the like terms to have 24 equals to 6H minus 2H. So in this case, our 24 will still remain, this will now be 6 minus 2, 4, introduce your age. Since we are paying attention to the age, we divide both sides by the coefficient. So this over 4, this divided by 4, meaning age is going to be 6. So therefore, the height, let's find the height of the whole cone. Therefore, the height of the cone is going to be from here to here, which we have labeled as 6 for age plus 12, and that gave us 18. I believe we are using centimeter, so 18 centimeter. So, the first part we are asked to find the height of the whole cone, which is the smaller cone, the first room, the height combined together. That will give us 18. All right, the next thing to do is to find the radius. They are looking for this radius. So given that the volume of the whole cone is given to us, find correct to four significant figures, the radius. We have to recall that if I am having volume of a cone, it is one third times the base area, which is pi r squared. The base area is a circle times the height. That is what we know. Now, we know the volume, definitely the pi is given to us, the height is known. So the only unknown variable here is the radius. That is what we are asked to find. So per substitution, we can say that 39,600 is equal to 1 third times pi 22 divided by 7 times this. We know the radius, uh, the height is 18, so times 18 times r squared. So now we can find 
the R, which is the only unknown variable here. So here, what do we do? We now we see this and this are denominators. So we multiply them. 1, 22, 18R are also going to be the numerators. So I'll be having 39,600 equals to 22 times 18. And that will give us 396. Don't forget to multiply it by the R squared. Divided by 3 times 7. That will be 21. We can still do cross multiplication. Whereby this become 396 R squared equals to the whole of this times 21. So 21 times 39600. I can see this being a common factor here. So I only divide without the multiplication. So divide by 396. Divide by 396. So what happened here? We can see that this will cancel. This will cancel here leaving 100. So R squared equals to 2100 as in the multiplication. So we are looking for R. So we find the square root of R squared, the square root of 2100. So this will be radius equals to finding the square root of 2100 give us 45.8258. But the question says we should leave our answer in what? Four significant figures. One, two, three, four. We stop here. This is five. So we add. So therefore, the radius is going to be 45.83 centimeter as the radius of this place. So you can see that from here, we can also find the diameter if we want to. There's saying that radius 45.83 equals to this. All right. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.